Hello traders, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video we'll be going over exactly how to use the Kinski buy sell signal indicator. What is the best combination of technical indicators can dramatically improve your chart reading skills. If you use the wrong technical indicators, this can lead to inaccurate price interpretation and bad trading decisions. Technical indicators can make it easy for you to identify current price trends and predict where prices will move in the future and by developing effective technical analysis strategies. Let's get started. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button subscribe and turn on the notifications bell so that you cow exactly when new content is released. We will be going through our high probability Kinski buy sell signal indicator and volume weighted MACD histogram indicator in depth and how we use it in combination with price action. The very important point before we start everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading and crypto because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets so we are going to go very in depth in this. Today in this video we will know how to volume weighted MACD histogram indicator and Kinski buy sell signal indicator can be used in the most unique way. Today's video is going to be the most learning and profitable video, so stay in the video till the end. You may not have even heard of such a strategy before. And also we will learn how to use Kinski buy sell signal indicator and price action together. In this video I am revealing a simple and profitable scalping strategy that is proven to have a high win rate. First of all let's take it to know the question, is volume weighted MACD good? In financial markets, the volume weighted moving average places a greater emphasis on periods with higher market volume. The volume weighted moving average is a better indicator when combined with another trading instrument for trading signals. The simple moving average is a great tool to combine the volume weighted moving average. Which is the best indicator for trailing stop loss? The best trailing stop percentage sits between 15% and 25%. This range consistently shows the best return to risk while maintaining a reasonable profit per trade and win rate. Based on this analysis, a trailing stop between 15% to 25% would produce the most stable equity curve growth. This strategy is very profitable and powerful. If you use this strategy properly then no one can stop you from making profit for sure. In this video we will be going through our very simple yet profitable new Kinski buy sell signal indicator system that you can use in the forex, stocks and crypto market. We hope that you will definitely like this strategy video. Before we get totally started with today's video. I want to talk about a very common problem that I hear from traders which is you ever stopped out by a trade just to watch that trade go in the initial direction you thought it was going to take a look at the chart with me. First of all let us know about trading tools. The buy sell indicator we see in the chart is called Kinski buy sell signal indicator. The red and green lines we see in the chart is called stop loss indicator. And the indicator which is bottom we call it volume weighted MACD histogram indicator. These are all our trading tools. Further we will explain the trading setup. Let's see how we use these trading tools. Let's start. When the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us sell signal. When the market forms a bearish candle. When the volume weighted MACD histogram indicator should be below the zero line. If this condition is fulfilled then we will place sell order. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of higher line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 2. The market has completely hit the target. I hope you must have understood this trading strategy. Let us now understand the long position. When the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. When the market forms a bullish candle. When the volume weighted MACD histogram indicator should be above the zero line. If this condition is fulfilled then we will place by order. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 2.
The market has completely hit the target. I hope you must have understood this trading strategy. If not, then it doesn't matter, we are going to see examples of some trades, so that you will definitely understand. If you have any question related to this strategy, then you can ask in the comments section, we will try our best to answer all your questions. First of all we open 1 hour chart of GBPJPY. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us sell signal. The market has made a bearish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is below the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to sell. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of higher line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 2. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. We have got the signal. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. The market has made a bullish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is above the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to buy. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. We have got the signal. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us sell signal. The market has made a bearish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is below the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to sell. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of higher line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 2. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. We got the signal immediately. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. The market has made a bullish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is above the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to buy. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. We have got the signal. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. The market has made a bullish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is above the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to buy. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. Let's find the next trade. We have got the signal. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. The market has made a bullish candle to give confirmation. 
the volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is above the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to buy. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. We have lost this trade. Never mind, sometimes it happens in the market. We must remember one thing that no strategy works 100% in the market. Let's find the next trade. We have got the signal. Here the Kinski buy sell signal indicator gives us buy signal. The market has made a bullish candle to give confirmation. The volume weighted MACD histogram indicator is above the zero line. So all our conditions are being fulfilled, so we are placing an order to buy. Our stop loss will be placed at the stop loss indicator of lower line. And the risk to reward ratio will be 1 is to 1.5. Let's see what happens to our trade. Our trade is running in profit. We have won the trade. I hope you must have liked this trading strategy. Now let's see how we made our setup. First of all, we will search indicators volume weighted MACD histogram in the search box of TradingView. After that we have to click on Indicator's Volume Weighted MACD Histogram option. In which we have to change some setting. We have to replace Short Period 12 with 26 and Long Period 26 in place of 12. After that we have to apply another indicator on the chart. We will search Stop Loss in the search box of Trading View. After that we have to click on Stop Loss Indicator option in which we have to change some setting. We have to replace ATR X1 in place of 0.7. In this, we have to hide the ATR options. After that we have to apply another indicator on the chart. We will search Kinski buy sell signal in the search box of trading view. After that we have to click on Kinski buy sell signal option. In which we have to change some setting. In this we have to hide the show price on label options. Now our setup is ready. I hope you must have liked this trading strategy. If you get to learn something new on our channel, then do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching our video. See you in the next video.